Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, today we're talking about a footage leak so nuclear, so mind-blowingly controversial that it could potentially be the final nail in the coffin for Meghan Markle's place in the royal family. You've heard the reports by now. Legendary comedian Steve Martin, of all people, dropped a documentary containing an actual video clip of the Duchess of Defiance herself slapping eight-year-old Princess Charlotte. I kid you not. This is a real thing that allegedly happened, caught on camera at some private royal gathering. Just let that deranged scenario marinate for a second. The woman who cried, I'm being silenced and suppressed. Every other press tour literally struck one of the king's beloved grandchildren unprovoked. If that doesn't sum up Meghan's toxicity and complete disregard for royal protocol, I don't know what does. Obviously, Buckingham Palace is melting down behind the scenes trying to extinguish this PR supernova before it completely torpedoes Meghan's already battered public image. Because let's be real, people were already side-eyeing this former actress after her never-ending train of truth-stretching and endless publicity stunts. But actually assaulting a child, crossing that line would make her an irredeemable pariah unable to slap together another sponsored lifestyle brand partnership or Spotify snoozefest. The optics are a million times worse than the time she wore that ill-fated bachelorette mini dress for Her Majesty's 96th birthday. From the get-go, the reports painted a damning picture. Grainy footage revealing a clearly agitated Meghan seemingly reprimanding little Charla before the unmistakable act of striking the eight-year-old across the face. You can almost hear the collective gasps from viewers as the clip played out. Of course, leave it to Team Meghan to go into immediate spin mode, trotting out their dopey friends with the usual denials and context stripping. The slap was taken out of context. Megan was just frustrated and would never hurt Charlotte intentionally. She loves those kids more than anything, blah, blah, blah. It's the same playbook of Fox outrage and gaslighting these people have been running for years. No matter how clear the evidence, they always have some explanation about misleading optics or Megan's true motivations being obscured. It's such a played out game at this point that it makes me want to slap them. What's most shocking to me about this Steve Martin bombshell, if true, is how utterly brazen Meghan's actions would have to be for this to even happen. We're not talking about a simple verbal lashing or impulsive shove out of sight of cameras. No, this reported incident depicts the Duchess of Delusion full-on slapping the face of the King's granddaughter. That's an insane level of privilege and protection she must have assumed for herself within the firm to not just lose her temper like that, but to actually strike a child of the current monarch out of anger or frustration. It screams of how deeply insulated and excused Meghan's behavior patterns were behind palace doors. We know how imperious and tantrum-prone she can be from all the turnover horror stories at Frogmore and Montecito. But to translate those diva antics into physical altercations with royal blood hairs is some next-level entitlement only the most deluded and unchecked narcissist could have managed. If the footage is legit, which I have no reason to doubt at this point, the larger question is why Meghan was upset enough at a child to commit what could be considered an act of assault. Was she not getting her way? Did Charlotte refuse to participate in some absurd PR stunt or merch line debut? Was her reaction so extreme because she felt a rare loss of control and media spotlight? These are all plausible catalysts for a Markle meltdown based on her petty, vindictive and rageful past behavior. The mere thought of sharing top billing with adorable, innocent Princess Charlotte was likely enough to tip her into Mommy Razzie derangement. No matter the context, though, striking a child is completely beyond the pale and indefensible, no matter how the loyal minions try to spin it. And the reality is that Meghan assaulting a member of the royal family, especially one so young and sympathetic as Charlotte, may prove to be an unforgivable bridge too far. There's no rehabilitating the reputation decimation from a leak this shocking, salacious and darkly comedic, which makes it gleefully irresistible in the court of public opinion. People louve piling onto irrefutable receipts of a hated figure's bad behavior, and this Steve Martin clip would be peak, told ye so material. My theory is that this clip surfacing might actually be the hidden hand of royal family retribution in action. We all know there's no love lost between House Sussex and the firm, 
with both sides no doubt stockpiling intel and leveraging opportunities to permanently exile and discredit the other. So what if this Martin Doc presented the perfect chance for the palace to strike back after Meghan's years of race-baiting allegations and royal racism claims, slipping in a damaging clip of her assaulting a child would certainly constitute a bombshell retaliation against an adversary running dangerously low on public sympathy. You already know the Crown Loyalists are digging in for a long, ugly war against Meghan's camp of sycophantic stands and deflectors. Leaking undeniable evidence of her unbecoming conduct toward a child could be phase one of turning the star-studded courtiers against her for good. It would certainly put a damper on her plans to keep selling access and branding herself as a benevolent humanitarian. At the bare minimum, this disturbing footage should finally erase any doubt that Meghan was an ill-suited toxic tumor on the royal tradition from the second she showed up. You simply cannot have physically abusive energy like that around a monarchy that rightly prioritizes duty, obedience, and subservience above all else. And whether through cosmic bad luck or Kensington Palace subterfuge, the Steve Martin debacle may mark the point of no return where the scales finally tip in favor of excising and exiling the Duchess from the Windsors once and for all. Her PR machine can no longer keep up with the mushroom cloud of receipts. For someone desperately trying to rebrand herself as a globally revered sage, slapping an eight-year-old girl is about as bad as it gets from an optic standpoint. This may have been the leak that broke the Markle brand beyond repair irreversibly cementing her as a persona non grata to the very institution of tradition she once sought entry into. Can you imagine the atmosphere in Montecito while this storm brews, Megan's likely having a full white snake meltdown as she realizes just how thoroughly cooked her credibility now is. On the other hand, Harry probably feels a weird mix of calmness and relief that maybe, just maybe, this will force Megan's hand to retreat into permanent exile. Wouldn't that be something, if Steve Friggin Martin's random documentary ended up being the straw that broke the royal family's back and banished the Markles to permanent Z-list purgatory? Talk about an all-timer from the legendary wild and crazy guy, that's a Netflix special just waiting to happen. So in summary, bombshell, Meghan might be cancelled for slapping Princess Charlotte on video based on footage mysteriously leaking into Steve Martin's new vanity project. If true, it may be the final bridge too far for the perpetually aggrieved Royal Defector's PR machine to resuscitate. From here, it's either a long, ugly war against the palace establishment, or slinking off into O.G. Simpson levels of ubiquitous disgrace and global cancellation. What a world we live in. So this is it from my side. What do you think about this new guys? Please share your thoughts in the comment and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.